hello everyone in this video i would like to share you how to install the free version of intel verilog software basically intel model sim software so it is free version so no license will be required and uh, in this video you will learn how to run your first program so let's start as you see i am going to open my browser this is google and i will write here model sim software install so when i search this i will get many options from where i can download but i will prefer you all that don't go to anybody's personal uh, software package or anything because it may be harmful for your system so you can go for intel model sim intel fpgas so this is standard edition software and i will open it in a new tab and here you can see there are many version present here so you can choose the latest also but i am installing 18.1 because it's uh, familiar to all of us almost uh, everybody works in this so here by default you will see this uh, download section has linux software as um, already selected so you need to switch to windows so it's very vital step and uh, then you should download this uh, through this button so you will find here download model sim setup uh, this is 18.1.0.625 windows.exe so when i click this so it will take some time so size is 1.1 gb you must have to notice that so you must have to keep your data so that no interruption um, should present in your downloading time so here you will see some uh, software license elements and you may read through it and i am accepting this and when i am accepting this so then uh, my download uh, will be started automatically uh, so although i have already downloaded that so that's why i am skipping this one so you can um, download this uh, this way uh, which i have shown you and uh, you can go to this download section to keep that .exe file or anything like that so you can see that i have already downloaded this so that's why it is showing for you who are new yeah. you must have to save you must have to save the .exe file to your any directory it may be on desktop it may be on any folder or anything anything you where you can you want to place that okay so i am skipping this one now uh, this is the download how to download this is the portion now i will show you how to uh, install uh, the downloaded uh, software dot exe extended file so first of all go to the place where you have uh, put that so i am going to downloads here is the models in setup so here if i double click this one then it will first of all uh, as i am mentioning that it's a 1.1 gb file so every time it will take much time and also depends on your system and how much load it is present in your system so for my system it will take much more time because it's heavy and uh, so let us wait and see what happens so as you can see uh, after starting the dot ex after double clicking the dot exe file it will show you do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device so you have to say yes because this is um, your this is provided by your windows administration so you have to say this yes so a blue screen arrived where you can see it is saying intel and this is the pga so that's why it will name that and next another screen will come automatically so there 
it will saying that uh, this is setup model sim intel fpga edition or starter edition so this is the starter edition which you have downloaded so now you have to click next for your installation now you will get two option mind it uh, this step is very much important so you have to select the first one although it is by default selected for me so you have to select this one because it is saying license is not required so you don't have to uh, submit any license so just click next so model sim intel fpga starter edition now you have to read through this agreement and uh, i am accepting this agreement so again uh, hit the next button after accepting that so uh, here you have to um, give your directory where you want to put that so by default it will choose its own uh, c drive and uh, in your c drive and under that it will automatically create the intel fpga folder where it will save all its um, necessary library files and anything which a software needs to run so will be that in that uh, directory so i am keeping that directory and uh, i wish everyone uh, do same and no need to change anything because c drive is based to keep all software right so next so after clicking next you have to uh, see, uh, see that it is um, will it showing uh, you were ready to install message or anything else so if it is showing you ready to install then you can proceed further so, uh, so um, any dependencies if it is not finding in your uh, in your pc so then it will raise an error or anything like that in this portion so um, after that you need to click next and uh, this will take a long time because the installation may uh, exceed to 10 to 15 minutes you know so for me for the last time when i was installing it took almost uh, 13 minutes for me so it depends on the system load i'm making saying because it's a large software so i am skipping this part in this youtube video and uh, you just have to do nothing you have to just wait you have to give the time for installation so here you can uh, see after the successful installation uh, this window will come and uh, it will say that installation complete so setup has finished installing model sim intel fpga starter edition the version is 18.1 so you don't need to provide any feedback you can skip that and just click the finish yeah so after this finishing you can go to the start button just right left bottom of your screen and this start button you will find here intel fpga so you have to click this folder and now under this you will find model sim so this is your software from where you want you need to uh, run this so, and uh, this software will help you to write very long programs so when i am clicking that model sim software so this is used for advanced simulation and debugging so this model sim software will open when you click from the start menu so this is the first window of your model sim software and uh, for the first time you need to click this jump start so click this jump start and then create a project you need to name your project i will name this project 1 so the name of the project will be project 1 and you have to set a location so for location I am browsing and let's say under the desktop even uh, not only the desktop you can go for local disk C or anything also so uh, 
uh, let's say I want to keep that under this Vargov drive that is my uh, own drive folder so I have choose my folder where I want to keep that and now you have to nothing needed to be changed and uh, you have to click OK so it will create your first project and now you have to create new file that will be one file under your project and there will be multiple files of very long and uh, that will be under single project okay so i am clicking this now i am giving it a name as and get and you need to change the file type as very long and let it be the top level and uh, click ok so just close this window now maximizing the main window so here you can see this folder has been created but the status is a question mark because we have not written anything and we have not compiled it yet so i am double clicking that so now this is your program uh, you can say as the notepad section where you need to write the program so i am going to write the program model sorry module and get input a b output y semicolon now assign y equals to a logical and b semicolon now end module so no need to use semicolon after end module so this is the whole uh, program for end get module now i am control by clicking control s i am saving this and now i am compiling this so right click here and go to compile compile the selected so if you do that uh, i am showing you uh, okay yes so you can see that compile of angle.b was successful this line i am mentioning it from the console so this is the line so uh, here you can see that it is successfully compiled and now you should go to your library under work you have to right click in, uh, you have to lift this, this plus sign and then right click on this module and get and you have to uh, double click this one so just double click this one it will start the simulation or you can uh, by right click you can click the simulate option also so i have double click this so the simulation panel has been opened now i want to see the way where i can go for under the view section i can click this wave so that i can see the wave panel so the wave panel yeah so this is the wave panel so anything which has been opened in full screen uh, it may be in full screen it may be in anything so like this so you can dock and undock this so the docking is by this one so dock and undock this um, this little button so by click this by clicking this little button you can dock the web panel to your main workplace and here you have to see this object so if anyone is not finding the objects panel so click this objects panel here so just go to the view then click the object panel so you have to see that where the object yeah, this is the object so you have to click this object so now right click on this object panel so i am right clicking on this object not here not here i am right clicking directly on the object panel and add to web and then signals in region and now i will give some clock so right clicking on every input so a you can find that a and b are the input so i'm right clicking on input and clock 
I am giving this 200 and falling the first stage should be falling so after that you have to click ok and now uh, for the B clock 100 and then falling you have to click ok now here in this run time you have to change it to 1000 nanosecond or you can say as 1 ms that is 1 microsecond so I am running this by this button this first button yeah so you can see the waveform here so again by docking or undocking so I am undocking this yeah so this is the wave so you can find the wave now by right clicking on each and every section you can see that here the value of a is 0 b is 1 the output is 0 so here the a is 1 b is 0 the output is 0 here the a is 1 b is 1 and the output is 1 so this is what we want what we want from an AND gate so we have successfully written the program for AND gate and it was very and very much easy and you can see but um, the installation is shown in this video but we will cover another video where we will learn how to uh, write programs.